6.45 in the morning and I'm going to San Diego. I'm going on a road trip with my family and my friend Bree and I thought I would do a get ready with me slash morning routine. So, oh, look who's here to wake me up. It's Monster. Monster, come here. My door is closed. Shut the door. Oh, he opened it. This is also a part of the routine. He always comes and wakes me up and cuddles me in the morning. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Why are you, why are you so far away? <laughs> oh, hi. Yep. They both love waking me up. Come here. I think this is probably the best way to wake up. <laughs> okay, so I look completely greasy and gross, and that's because I am. I need a shower, but usually when I wake up in the morning, I'll have water right next to my bed. I try to drink a glass of water in the morning when I wake up. Super typical, super standard. Your body's dehydrated when you wake up. Usually in the morning when I wake up, I just brush my teeth and, and yeah, but I'm trying to take my Invisalign out first. I don't actually have like Invisalign, but I had braces and they use Invisalign as my retainer for some reason. And then we brush our teeth. Now, I use a really weird toothpaste. My mom got me this really natural called Cali White. It has B12, vitamin B12 infused in it, and it doesn't have any fluoride because fluoride is bad for you. It damages your penile gland, your third eye. Hmm. Uh. Okay, so next I usually wash my face. The face wash that I've been using lately is an all natural cleanser. For a while I was using um, an acne reduction face wash. For a second it helped me with breakouts and acne and then it just my skin kind of went back to normal and I think it was a little too harsh and damaging on my skin. I have really sensitive skin and really acne prone skin and a really dry skin too at times. It's a neroli and lemongrass cleanser herbal face herbal face cleanser and it's made in the Himalayas. <laughs> Let's wash faces. Hi, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> that much. It burns to open my eyes. I can't do it. Hopefully you can see it. Cute. <laughs> I know I'm in the shower anyway and you might be like, why are you washing your face so much? But I don't like to use my body wash on my face because I have sensitive skin. It doesn't react well to scented stuff. Um, after this, I would normally put on face lotion. This has turmeric in it from the same company that made my face wash. Since I'm in a shower, um, it, it would just wash off. So I'm not gonna put that on right now. I'll put it on after a shower. But what I would like to do before a shower, to bring you guys with me to get some coffee and some more marijuana. What? No, I wasn't gonna say marijuana. Wait, is today 420? It's 420. <laughs> I don't smoke, but for those of you who do, Happy 420. I'm gonna get some more water is what I meant to say, not marijuana. What am I thinking? Oh, I'm my under chin. <laughs> water. We need some coffee. I have coffee from yesterday. Ooh, you guys can take a look at what's in my fridge. It's really healthy. Honestly, I'm proud of the way my family eats. That's all kale, pomegranate, pickles, avocado, some stir fry, cauliflower. Like, it's all vegetables, really. And this is my day-old coffee. Sometimes it's too much caffeine for me to finish an entire cup of coffee. I want to heat this up, so I'm just going to add some hot water to it. Good morning. How are you? Would you like to say anything to the camera? Oh, hello. You're like just eating breakfast, chilling out. And God's over there chilling. Hey God, you're so beautiful. Yes, you are so beautiful. Why are you so pretty? Also, normally in the morning I'd be listening to K-pop while I get ready. Copyright issue. 
can't play that. You guys can just imagine what I would listen to. I'm like, I like BTS. They're good, but they're not my favorite. I like Blackpink. I like Twice, Winner, Top Dog. Ooh, I love Red Velvet. Red Velvet is the shit. I like a lot more girl groups than I like guy groups. I have the feeling this water should be done now. <laughs> this is hard to do with one hand. Oh, this isn't even mine. <sighs> it's my mom's tea. Man, all that waiting for nothing. Where's my coffee? God damn it. I don't think there is any coffee for me. I'm gonna have to make some. I guess we're gonna have an espresso. Oh, hi, good morning. Good morning. Oh my god, we're in the morning. What do you mean? Not on camera? Well, I mean, it's not like you have to put makeup on. What are you complaining about? I'm not my best. When are you your best? I'm just great. <laughs> I'm just awesome. I'm just amazing. <laughs> the camera just loves Stop. The camera. <laughs> you're so weird. What? No. I don't know what happened. Your privileges have been revoked. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> you're grounded from being on camera. <laughs> Is mom awake? Because we have to go soon. Yeah, let me go make sure. Okay. I heard some grunting. Not sure what that means, but we heard grunting. I've been drinking flax milk lately, rather than almond milk, and it's pretty good. It's got 10 less calories, and it has absolutely zero fat. Let's put a lot. You're doing this in the morning? Well, it's like in the morning, it's like a get ready with me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Really? Why are you laughing at that? I just think people care about that shit. I don't know if they care or not, but I'm willing to see if they do. <laughs> do you guys care about getting ready with me? Oh, they're still on camera? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Okay, um, let's leave because he's bothering me. Iron your clothes, man. Get ready. It's cold, just so you know. It's gonna be 18 degrees and cloudy, so right, right. before you put on your mini booty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I feel more awake just smelling coffee. Like, you know how they say, wake up and smell the coffee? Like, it's actually a thing. I'm gonna go shower. You guys can't come in there with me, but essentially, I'll just show you the products that I use in the shower. I use Redkin shampoo. I use Maui conditioner. Redkin makes my hair so soft and so flowy. I love it. They're both vegan, obviously, and cruelty-free. I got this from Toronto Fashion Week. They were sponsoring the event, and so all the people who walked in the fashion show got free shampoo. So I was walking in Toronto Fashion Week, and I got free shampoo, and then this is from Tiff. And then this was like a $3 body wash from Bath & Body Works. I'm gonna hop in the shower, be right back. Alright, shower is done and I normally put lotion on afterwards, but I have an oil in my shower, a body oil that I put all over, but now I'm going to put my face cream on. Oh my god, I have black paint stuck in my head right now. I was listening to them when I was in the shower. Let's do some makeup. Yeah? Yeah. My concealer's in my room. Whatever, I'll use the stick concealer. It's from Joe Fresh. I don't know. You will come to learn, as you probably did in my previous vlog. I think in my first day of school vlog, um, I have really shitty makeup, like face makeup, but my eyeshadows are quality because I feel like that's where money is well spent. And this is much darker than my skin shade, but it covers the spots, it covers the spots. And then I have this uh, Quo foundation. It's not a big deal, so I don't really care that it didn't focus, but it's too light for my skin, so I put this under my eyes. I just know it works for my face and what takes me the least amount of time to get ready in the morning. Baby, 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 baby. Um, this is important. This is from Sephora. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's a BB cream. Honestly, it's so thin and so lightweight, but it gives me color. Hopefully I'm not too tanned for this now because that would suck. I like my foundation to be a tad bit darker than my skin. So what I'm gonna do is I have these pro mixers for foundation from NYX. Um, and I'm gonna just put a little a couple of dots of these all over my face as well So yeah, it adds some orange and then it adds some darker beige Oh, this is the perfect color for me. Yay Today's gonna be a fun day in San Diego. 
I haven't been to San Diego since I was 11 years old, so I'm really excited to go back there and just hang out. We're gonna go watch a rugby game, I believe. Brie just like knows everyone in the rugby world apparently, so she's taking me to a college game, I think, or a pro level game. I don't know what's happening. I'm just going along with her. I am so proud of my foundation mixing today. Mm -hmm. For my standards, this is great. Ugh. You can see my tan lines, holy shit. So next, I ran, up my, ran out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring kit. So we're just gonna use whatever this is from Marcel. I don't feel like doing heavy makeup today, so just a sprinkle of makeup. Oh, and the brushes that I use are from Tarte. I don't even know what collection this is from, but it's from Tarte. I guess this is gonna kind of be like my everyday makeup routine because the last time I did an everyday makeup in my first day of college video I didn't really have all my makeup with me because I had just moved in I just moved to LA so only I'd say I brought like just a small little case of like makeup that would just help me survive I didn't have all of my beautiful tools and equipment so this is more of my everyday look Next, we're going to do the lush because that's the order we go in, in my world. Oh, this is from NYX, and it's a liquid something. Liquid food, fouté, fouette. I have no idea what that is. I put so little on my face because this is super pigmented. One dot and one dot. This is usually enough blush. And I like to mix this one out with my hands. See, look how much that is. And it stays dewy if I do it with my hands. And then whatever is left over on my fingers, I put on my nose and on my forehead. And I feel like, what kind of eye day are we feeling? Well, what am I wearing? I'm wearing pink and blue mainly today. You can just do pink eyeshadow. I love these bright vivids from NYX. Put my finger, just a tint. it a little bit because it's a little too bright for my liking. So I'm going to go in with the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to put in a low low. Neutralize it a little bit. I think this eye is better than this eye. Is take a different brush because I don't like the brush the palette came with and just blend it out a bit. And then I want to take some Natasha Denona. It's just her glittery shit. I love this shit so much. I could just layer it on for days. Good. Next step I do is eyeliner. I know you're not supposed to stretch your eyeliner, but I don't know how else to do this. Wait, let me try. No, I can't. It's giving me anxiety. myself in the eye. Oh, this eye is watering now. Oh, great. It's leaking. I mean, watering. Eyes don't leak so much. Silly so. Oh, we kind of stepped over bronzer. And this bronzer is from Bare Minerals. And I've had it for years. I know you're not supposed to keep makeup for years, but guess what? I'm a cheap bitch. I do. I keep makeup for years. Oh, well, normally I contour my nose too, but we'll just kind of do it with bronzer now, I guess. Hardcore falling down. And then I'm gonna go in with some HD makeup forever. And I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my bronzing because it's my widest spreading brush. And I'm gonna put it mainly under my eyes, but kind of everywhere, I guess. Is this called baking? Is this what the folks call baking? I believe it is. So let's bake because it's 420. <laughs> Ew, okay. A trick I learned from Brie is that to put waterproof mascara after you curl your lashes because it holds better since there's no water weight in the mascara to weigh your eyelashes down. So I'm gonna put waterproof on today. There we go. There's some curling action. Oh, 
almost had a wardrobe malfunction. I should be wearing my robe right now. You know what? Before I do my other eye, I'm gonna go get my eyebrow supplies and my robe. See, this is what I should have been wearing this whole time, but I'm an idiot and I forgot. Oh my God, Bree's here. Shit. Fuck, what time is it? Okay, we gotta do this really quick. Oh my God. Crap, 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 crap. Why does this always happen to me while I'm getting ready? Why am I always so late? Oh, I did spend 45 minutes in the morning just wasting time on Instagram, so. My hair is still super wet as well. Okay, let's quickly do brows. I have my Tarte palette. I don't know what palette this is. I just use the darkest shade. And then sometimes I put the same thing under my eye just so this way it darkens the liner a bit. We're almost done. I like to moisturize my lips first with chapstick. So let's do that. I have this lip color from, the label it has rubbed off, but it is a vegan company that I got from a vegan store in Toronto. It has like a minty smell and it's just like a really dark kind of sheen red. And I only put on a little bit usually because it can go really dark the more you layer it. We're done makeup. I don't think that was Brie who rang the doorbell. I think the parents just rang the doorbell to get my dog's attention. What are you wearing? Uh, leggings and a top. Oh, I wore shorts. It's gonna be cold. You might want to bring some pants with you or something. Oh, I have something on top. I like to stay warm on top and bare on the bottom. Okay, let's go put clothes on. Do you guys want a room tour at some point? I know I did a condo tour, but do you guys want a room tour? Just of like shit I have laying around. <laughs> I'm gonna put on these new Lululemon leggings I got. They still have the tag on them. I hope I'm not the only weirdo who gets so excited to wear new clothes that sometimes I don't wash them before I wear them. I know that's so nasty. I just get so excited. Plus, like, when you think about things, everything's kind of nasty. So, ready? Three, I've always wanted to try this. Three, two, one, I'll be changed. I'm changed. Okay, I'm wearing pink. Lighting, hello. So these are the leggings from Lulu, <laughs> I dig. And then I just have this pink crop top from Garage and it has like a little knot built in with it. It's kind of nice to wear pastel colors because it's Easter weekend and yeah, I'm feeling, feeling festive. Maybe I'll put on my bunny ears. I have a bunny ear headband actually, maybe I will wear that. That's a good idea. Yeah, now I'm gonna just go finish my coffee, gonna go eat. Talk to my family, update them on my dreams and my sleep patterns because I'm a weirdo and I actually do that. I have wild dreams every night, so we'll be back with Bree when we're in the car. <laughs> so what I'm day we go <laughs> I swear, I chose all of my classes at 8 a.m. to become an early riser. I know, you, you I say hi. hi. It's always the same angle. We always sit on the sides of the car. I don't know if I just don't know how to have <laughs> <laughs> it's a truffle. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're done. That might be one. Every time we take a road trip, we always go shopping. So what'd you get, Brie? I got a blazer. Oh, mine are so cute. I wish I could have found one, but look at that. Yeah, that's nice. It's like a nice, like yeah, blush pink, almost like a camel tan nude. Mm. I love this. A hard holder. I got sunglasses, as usual, because I'm always losing my sunglasses. But these ones you are not allowed to I'm lose. not allowed to lose these ones. These ones were no, those a little are bit mine. pricey. Yeah. What? Yeah. So it came in like a Jimmy Choo case, even though they're not Jimmy Choo glasses, but they're still really nice. I got a pair of Balenciaga sunglasses. University of San Diego. I can't remember which one it is. Do this thing. Yeah, so I know it still has a sticker on it, but. Sorry? Oh, the bag I put on. Oh, really nice. Okay, I'm not gonna record the road trip because this is gonna be a long one.